Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, subscribing. All that you do is greatly appreciated and never goes unnoticed. I want to say all praise to do the most high, say the ancestors of light, known and unknown. I want to thank them for clear, concise, accurate information. I also want to call on the Archangel, specifically Archangel Michael, and ask that he protect this reading from any outside or negative influences, seeking to impact me or my collective in a negative form or fashion as we channel divine energies of the most high. So let's clear out any negative energy around us at this point today we're doing a pick a card and this pick a card is what is the current state of your enemies current state of your enemies let me get these decks together um let me get some crystals one is going to be this yellow i think it's citrine i'm not sure yellow crystal for power one oops power one power one power two will be this teal crystal i'm not sure if it's turquoise or what it's supposed to be but this is power two power two with this blue crystal power two I'm hearing something about lapis lazuli or labradorite that may be relevant to you. And then uh, I think it's supposed to be amethyst for pile three. I'm getting expansion. Let me just not say yet, but pile three is the purple crystal. So one more time, we got the yellow crystal citrine for pile one. Pile two is the blue crystal. And pile three is the amethyst so what is the topic this topic is about what is the current state of your enemies what is the current state of your enemies so i'm here and i got enemies got a lot of enemies got a lot of trying to save me trying to drain me of my energy i keep getting that all right so let's start with power one let's see so we're gonna move power two these piles over uh, I need to get more clips there we go move pile two here so let's get into pile one what is currently going on with your hidden enemies what is currently going on with your enemies we're going to start off with these two well these you have three of these so we have hiding true self number 14 we also have obsession and parasite right off the bat what i can see with pile number one's enemy is that well relevant dates may be march 3rd through the 19th i'm seeing that someone has an obsession with your energy parasite that's probably what i'm hearing i got enemies got a lot of enemies got a lot of people trying to drain me of this energy hiding your true self obsession obsession and parasite so i feel like somebody this pile one's energy currently is that they're currently obsessed with watching you obsessed with like if you're not posting posting on social media currently this person is like getting frustrated or irritated because they have an obsession with watching you finding you another thing probably uh, one your enemies may currently be going through is being exposed for who they truly are with hiding your true self parasite and obsession they could be being exposed for who they really are people can now be seeing this person like okay you got to be obsessed with this individual you got to be obsessed with this person because all you do is talk about them like all you do this person i'm getting i don't know this person's obsessed with your energy that was weird four 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 i i don't know why i feel like an ancestor spirit guy just walked in the door like hello do you do okay so um
All right, I'm back. Yeah, I believe this person, pile number one, your enemy is currently obsessively stalking or watching you. All right, now we have the nine of pentacles in reverse. I feel like this person is um, financially struggling here right now. They're having a hard time being independent. Maybe this person is dependent upon your energy with the nine of pentacles in reverse. Um, and they no longer have access to you. So since you closing some type of door or ability to access you, um, 555, this person is, it's like they're shriveling or like they're, if this person was looked at while being with you or around you or some type of soul tie connection with you as intelligent, as quick-witted or you know, very beautiful, just a certain energy. Now they don't have that energy anymore because you're not around anymore. Or wants stability, nine of pentacles. Exactly. What I was and what I was gonna say that I forgot. This person could be facing some financial issues, like as far as rent, bills. Come on, what are you talking about? what are you dreaming about <laughs> about what huh <laughs> no you didn't <laughs> a ghost was in this room no in this house it, but it was in the chair it was a ghost in here, but in G room. You sure? Okay. So, what kind of ghost? You don't know? A demon type of ghost? A see through ghost? What kind of ghost? Go back to sleep. You're about to have to get up at school. Okay, so that's strange. I just, the door just opened as if someone walked in. And I hear my son making these weird noises. He wakes up and he's like, he had a dream that a ghost was in here in somebody else's room. So that's, that's pretty freaking weird. So let's clear out, let's once again clear out any negative energies, entities seeking to affect us in a negative form or fashion, please. I definitely feel a presence. Okay, so pile one, back to pile one. So there could be ghosts around you or this person like monitoring our spirits. They could be sending them monitor our spirits or something around you. Um, I feel like this person is struggling financially when it comes to some type of house or stability. I feel like this person could be spending frivolous, frivolously on partying, drinking, stuff like this. And now I feel like this is catching up to them. This energy is catching up to them. I feel like this person is also on a nine of pentacles in reverse energy, seeing you become more stable. This enemy, they're seeing you become more stable. Um... Yeah, two of swords. This person is going through some type of mental conflict. I feel like this person cannot stop watching you on social media. They cannot stop um, obsessing over you. This, per this person has lost their spiritual connection to spirit. Dark thoughts. This person is having very dark thoughts. They have no control of their thoughts. Their thoughts are being manipulated. Um, so mental instability. is another thing that I see this enemy is currently going through. This person could be losing a home, this enemy, because they were too worried about partying and stuff like that and they weren't focused on paying their bills. This person could literally have some type of parasite that's within them that's obsessed with you. <gasps> yeah, so this is a main male. This is a main male. January may be relevant. 
We have um, the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This could have been somebody that you cut off because they betrayed you in some way, shape, or form. I'm hearing ain't no fun when a rabbit's got the gun. Something's backfiring onto this individual. I feel like this person can't stop thinking about you. But if you look, it looks like this woman has some type of string or needle. And if you look, the strings are kind of like here in this two of swords picture. Somebody could want to get a tattoo or have recently got a tattoo. Injection. I don't know why I'm getting an injection. Something about an injection. Let's look at the Queen of Blades in the book. Let's see what the Queen of Blades say in the book. Queen of Blades says, hmm. High ranking angel Naomi is a ruthless, complicated leader who, according to Castiel, fiercely cares about the safety and well being of the souls in her charge despite her unquestionably brutal methods. The Queen of Blades represents an intelligent, independent, protective figure. This tarot card advises you to be brave and unwavering in the pursuit of what you want. Stand your ground, muster your confidence, and know your worth. Okay. I feel like you're somebody that's very high ranked. And this is why this person is obsessed with your energy. It seems like some type of bind or situation they try to put you in. You got yourself out of. I don't know why I'm seeing this energy backfiring in the midst of them collective. Could have been a betrayal with the Libra Gemini Aquarius here, this enemy. And this is another thing. Somebody could be hiding the fact that they're jealous of you. They're obsessed with you. This could be a family member. Um, this person could also be currently trying to hide what they're going through making it seem like they're okay but spirit's saying they're not so let's get into these this could possibly be um, you know I'll save the initials for last let's get into the index cards pile one divine protection exactly you have some type of high rank here you have some type of some type of high rank maybe this person was unable to see your true self because you were hiding it Two, two, two. You could be saying two, two, two. Um, you were divinely protected from this individual who was very parasitic and obsessed with your energy, who was wearing some type of mask hiding their true self. This enemy is currently in some type of men having some type of mental conflict. Sex magic. So this, indiv this individual could have been doing some type of sex magic. Like I said, this person is parasitic, and they they need your energy to manifest to thrive. Something like this. Jupiter for abundance. So this person could have been trying to reach off you, use you for your abundance, for your protection. And now that you're no longer around, um, this person is in the nine of pentacles. I feel like things are falling apart for this person because you they were like leeching off of your energy. We have set you up to be kidnapped. So this is someone who set you up to be kidnapped. You're special. Because you're special. I don't know if people are going to try to kidnap you, take your DNA. Somebody could have been trying to plan to get you raped. I don't know. I made a big mistake. You're special. I made a big mistake. Because you have this high rank with this divine protection. So your enemy, pawn number one, is currently realizing they made a big mistake because you are very high ranking. So these last three cards could be the initial of the individual, your initials, or have some type of relevance to you. We have the letter I with the monkey. We have the letter D. So someone's name could be D or a dog may be relevant. And then we have U with an arrow. D, I, and U. Okay, so that's that. I want to thank you, Pile two, Pile 2, for liking, subscribing. All that you do is very appreciated. It never goes unnoticed. Thank you for being here. So I'm going to go to Pile number two. Maybe it's all time for you to get up. 
a smooth end to pile number two. Feel free to fast forward. Okay, pile number two is the blue. What's going on with your hidden enemies? Pile number two. What's the current energy of your hidden enemies? Okay, so we have one of these versus the first pot we had about two or three. We have three on the first pot. So let's see what's currently going on with your hidden enemies. What is their current energy? We have blinded to pain. Number 13. I feel like this person is going through a lot of misery. They can't see their way forward or out of a situation. I'm getting very hopeless. He fell in love in a hopeless place. I'm getting a very hopeless energy. This could also be the energy of you being blinded to the pain or to these people or these enemies. Um, let's see, what are we going to next? We got change. You could have moved away from someone, someone else. Nine, ending of a cycle. This could be an enemy that is trying to leave something behind, find a way to move forward. Like I said, this could be you realizing, seeing something about this enemy and deciding to move forward. Ace of Swords, you could have got some type of truth or clarity. You're no longer blinded about family foes about someone you have some type of truth or clarity about a situation i'm getting a judge with a gavel like a final say a final order or some type of final realization four of swords four of swords with the ace of swords makes that five of swords in this four of swords you can see how they're looking back at this individual on the ace of swords because they know that this individual knows the truth now and they're going to communicate with somebody to talk because they're trying to figure out how does this individual know the truth is what I'm getting. So your enemies are um, unsure right now and they're confused of how you know something is what I'm getting. Ace of Wands in reverse. So we got two aces out here on the board. How do you know? This could be how do you know about this idea, this magic or whatever the case may be, but they want to know how you know about this failed plan. Let's see, it's a wrong reverse. They want me to look it up. It says the Ace of Wands reverse generally means uncertainty. This card comes up means that you are planning on doing something for a long time or have a great idea, but you are afraid and unsure how to take it further. Exactly, because this individual is not sure how you know the truth. They're not sure how to move forward in this situation with you knowing the truth. Um, these people are uncertain about what's next because you're no longer blinded. You could have relocated and moved away. You're no longer blinded to whatever this word they were doing. Yeah, Ten of Cups. This is a community of people, family. This could be family that you moved away from or is wanting to move away from. You could have found the truth out about... Um, is this correct? In the wrist or upside down? Okay, so we have temperance here. I'm not sure which way it goes, but... Um, yeah, whoever your enemy is, I feel like they're mentally unstable right now. This community of people are mentally unstable. I feel like they're on some type of emotional roller coaster because they're unsure if you're going to get the police involved in some type of matter or what happens next is what I'm getting here. Limbo. What's what happens next? Mm -hmm. Let's just see what you're missing. You're getting up on early. Good job, baby. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something for you. I know. I'm going to do something for you Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next we have the lovers. Yeah, this is a couple or um, this could be a Sagittarius lover, Gemini. This person is going back to their other lover or the other loved ones 
in there trying to figure out like what's going on why are you not in this temperance in reverse energy so your enemy power to your enemy is 2023 is unsure why something is not working why something's not going the way it's supposed to go i'm hearing no longer effective oh, wrong thing we're gonna go into the index cards these are initials this could be the person's initials the enemy the hidden enemy but we'll get them next so we have sibling rivalry exactly this is some type of family siblings something they, they're unsure how to move how to go on about this because they know that you know something so they, they, they try to poison you. They know that you know. That you're sure. Yeah, we have... Um, oh, wait a minute. Then we have a blank card. Because they're, un they're uncertain what happens next. You know what I mean? With the blank card, it's just like blank. They just don't know. They, they don't have any communication from you. You're not speaking to them. You're, you're probably writing certain things on Facebook or have deleted your Facebook, 21, 22. So these people are uncertain. Are they going to jail? What are you going to do? So this is driving them up a fucking wall, being uncertain about what's your next move. We have integrity. Um, these people did something without integrity. These siblings have no integrity. last night so something last something was happening last night they could have been doing magic last night talking about you last night this conversation could have happened last night like what do we do now what do we do next we have to keep connecting so maybe you connected to your to some archangels or spirit guides or something like this while you were sleeping or had some type of connection because they said keep connecting yeah, archangels keep connecting. So maybe the archangels are giving you bits and pieces of a story in your dreams, or they're connecting with you currently. They connected with you last night. Something has happened last night, and that was them connecting with you. Or, the, or these people are like, this person is actually connected to angels protected respected by angels or something like this so part number two your enemy is currently in a state of uncertainty let's get their in initials possibly or important letters so we i'm hearing photo booth so we have g we just have a game board here yeah they don't know which move to make next you know with the game board they don't they don't know which move to make next did you watch the tv no you see the tv off Come on, you see the TV off. Do you see me out there? So how could I be watching TV out there if I'm in here? Go brush your teeth. Seven o'clock. We have R. This could be initial letter, but we also have a rat. So somebody, they may not know what to do next because they're wondering if you're going to tell on them. Somebody's going to tell on them. Rat, snitch. Yeah, they could be in fear of jail. We have the number Y yellow here. People could be high yellow. <laughs> yeah, with the, with the crayon, they're trying to figure out what's the next part of the story. What happens next? Look up there for your toothbrush. You're not looking. So, pow two your enemy is in the current state of uncertainty all right let's get into pow three what is currently going on with this enemy where, oh where, oh where, oh where could we be? Yeah, might y'all find out something. So last but not least, we have Pow Three with the amethyst. Let's get into this. What's going on currently with your hidden enemy? I think this pile has to have the most cards. What's currently going on with your hidden enemy? Enemies. Okay, what is currently going on with pile 
up these enemies. Free chance to drain. Somebody wants to take your energy is what I'm getting. They want to take your energy. Or this enemy is being taken over by some type of demonic force, demonic entity, demonic energy that they were summoning. Go brush your teeth. What's this telling you? Power three, atonement. So your enemy is facing some type of karma for backstabbing you is what I'm getting backstabbing you yeah and, oh my god envious gluttony yeah I feel like this person wants to become you like you see this energy wasting your way like this person wants to take your essence about the way but they wanted to do that to you and now it's happening to them or something about this envy is um eating away at this individual it's crazy because this person literally feels relief when you're backstabbed when something bad happens to you and you have some type of problem this person is ecstatic to see you go through a problem like they need to see you suffering in order for them to live or thrive but this, in, this enemy is going to have to pay for their envious gluttony. Yeah, this person wants to take your place. They want to be you. They want your spiritual gifts and abilities. They want your essence. They want your energy. They want your manifestation power. What more can I say? Courthouse. Your current enemy could be getting court papers. Having to go to court. Having to go to court. Summoning. Subpoena. This could be spiritual court. This could be... Um, I don't know, I'm getting you've been served. False person. Number eight. I'm um, getting this person watch you. It's, it's not 24 7, 27 8. I'm getting it. This person watch you 27 8. Um, They could, this person could have signed some type of document like fraud scam here and they could be getting called into court for this because they did some type of scam or fraud when it comes to abundance you could be seeing 331 or 313 228 282 yeah six of coins this has something to do with some type of money here winning so a false person could have took something that didn't belong to them this could also be a false person paid to have someone hurt like put a hit out on somebody with the six of pentacles daughter of six is target energy so somebody could have paid someone to hurt you and this person could be currently getting some type of court papers or this person could have been trying to do something to you to block you from receiving some type of finances or abundance. This person is currently facing some type of problem with the legal system. We have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords was also in pile one, I want to say. Check pile one. I think the Queen of Swords was in pile one. So you could be, um, you may need to listen to pile one. As, as well um this is Libra Gemini Aquarius energy does not have to be yeah somebody could want to somebody could want to take your spiritual gift or with the queen of with the mother of knives in courthouse this could be an official sending out some type of letter or this could be a Libra Gemini Aquarius receiving some type of letter about something they did in the past that they thought wouldn't catch up to them. We have John Horse. Um, this is the Emperor in reverse. So this could be an Aries as well involved. Um, this could be a karmic divine masculine involved in this situation, a karmic Aries, 
or a karmic father. This could be about a mother and father. These people are getting court notices. Yeah, we have the star. I feel like you were supposed to receive something. Some type of fame, some type of something. Whatever the case may be, these people do not want you to have it. They want it for themselves. Trying to trick you out your spot type thing. Whatever this is could be a gift from the universe. I'm getting starstruck. Jealousy, a lot of jealousy here. We have the five of cups. I feel like this person is regretting. So this person could have also got some type of this person could have got some type of communication about a feminine that they chose over you collective. And they realize and they chose a false person, or this could be what this person did to sell their soul, like fame, they regret trying to get some type of fame I feel like you're healing from something they tried to do and they're feeling the effects of it whatever this is let's get some index cards it's like something about a check or something somebody scans something we have more yeah, this could be about money, shopping, spending habits. Like, I'll go crazy if you delete your social media. So somebody's definitely watching you on social media. They see you as a star. They could regret choosing this false person over you. This is the energy that they're in. They're definitely in regret as an energy. Because they have five cups. We have grandpa passed over another one. Yeah. Use my false. So we have a grandpa passed over another one here. hidden will so that could have been a grandpa who left you some type of money and these people are hiding it so this could be what those papers are coming for because somebody signed a false document or something like this that did not belong to them so now people are getting court documents people could have been spending the money at the mall doing the most and it did not belong to them we have thank for you rilo no cap I feel like there's like two enemies here or this is it's like a karmic masculine or a divine masculine who's now karmic who made a bad decision you could be seeing two 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 or 1055 then we have an energy of somebody signing for money that did not belong to them they could have been impersonating you or something like this it didn't belong to them we have rosa parks rosa parks went to jail so this person could be going to jail For hiding this will or maybe your grandfather was born in this rosa parks era or maybe rosa parks is of your brother yeah we have mind control i feel like this person is doing some type of love spell trying to control your mind the way you think this is like black magic spell work over the mental we have sex with minors so maybe this person um this karmic so this karmic energy that they're in they could be receiving court papers about fraud about sex with minors grooming all of the above possibly trying to buy these little girl stuff to get them to sleep with them i don't know but against their will third uh for reason three your person could be in some type of legal trouble legal issues this is their current karma it says shine bright like a diamond ring. Remember, we had the star. These people see you as a star and are very jealous of this. We have two initials, possibly, that these this could be the name or these just may be relevant to you. And we have um, A and B. So somebody's name could start with A. Somebody's name could start with B. An apple may be relevant or important. A baseball bat, baseball may be important. Teacher, something about a teacher at school. Apple's pet, apple in my eye, the big apple. New York City.
Okay, so I'm gonna thank you guys for listening, liking, sharing, subscribing. All that you do is greatly appreciate. Never lose my notice. Peace, namaste.